everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called Seeing is Believing. The memory verse is from John chapter 9, verse 25. It says, One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. The message is I will tell others what Jesus has done for me. Have you ever awakened in a room that was so dark you couldn't see a thing, not even your own hands? How would you manage if everything around you was that dark all the time? That's what it's like to be blind. A blind man sat beside the road and begged. He had been born blind. There was nothing else he could do to support himself. Sometimes he wondered why he was born blind. He thought it was his parents' fault. People back then believed that sickness, blindness, and other problems came to people who sinned. He heard a crowd of people coming closer. Please give! Please give! The blind beggar cried. Help the poor blind among you! He heard a man ask, Who sinned? This man? or his parents. Why was he born blind? The blind man strained his ears. He wanted to hear the answer. Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but this happened to bring praise to God. Then the blind man felt some mud being put on his eyes. In a kind voice, Jesus said, Go and wash your eyes in the pool of Siloam. The blind man obeyed. Someone led him to the pool. He washed off the mud. The sun was shining. He could see people. Colors painted the whole world. When people asked him how he was able to see, he told them what Jesus had done. Jesus had healed the blind man on the Sabbath. Some people were not happy about that. The leader said that Jesus broke the Sabbath. Others said Jesus was bad, so he could not have made a blind person see. They tried to show that the blind man's healing wasn't real. But the man who was born blind said to them, One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I can see. If Jesus is not from God, he could not open the eyes of a man born blind. The leaders became very angry with the healed man. They believed that he was born blind because he was a sinner. And they did not want this healed man telling people what Jesus had done for him. So they put the man, born blind, out of their church. Jesus heard about this, and he looked for the man. When he found him, he said, Would you like to believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. The man said, Lord, I believe. Then he fell on his knees and worshipped Jesus. Jesus told him, I came to this world to make the blind see and to show some who think they see how blind they are. The man born blind shared with others what Jesus had done for him. He even told those who didn't love Jesus. Have you shared with someone what Jesus has done for you? This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for gracelink.net. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net.